Welcome back to lecture 2 of standard 7 in which I am going to continue speed of the body about which we had discussed in previous lecture. Actually we were discussing about speed and conversion of meter per second into kilometer per hour and kilometer per hour into meter per second. I hope you all have become aware of the facts and the concepts. It will be next part of speed in which you will learn how to calculate average speed. You might have been experience of moving from one place to another place. Sometimes the vehicle becomes a speed up. Sometimes the speed is decreased. At traffic, we have to stop the vehicle and again we have to restart the vehicle. All over, in our complete journey, from one place to another place, speed varies and time is spent. But distance which is fixed between two destinations is covered. If there is no traffic, then very less time is taken and if there is traffic on the road, much more time is taken. Both speeds are not same. One will be smaller, another will be greater. So we need to find average speed. Actually, its definition is the ratio of total distance traveled. Means the distance between destination A and destination B. Total distance is fixed. Speed or time varies. If total distance traveled is divided by total time taken, then average speed of the body is calculated. Here, average speed equal to total distance by total time. For better understanding, to make the concept more clear, I had tried to explain question number 1. In question number 1, it is written that if a car travels 20 km in 1 hour, 30 kilometers in 2 hours, 15 kilometers in half hour. Means the journey is in 3 parts. First part 20 kilometers in 1 hour, 30 kilometers in 2 hours, 15 kilometers in half hour. So we need to find total distance and total time. Total distance is 20 plus 30 plus 15 that is 65 km. Total time is 1 hour, 2 hours and half hour that is 3 and half hour 7 by 2 hours. To find average speed, total distance that is 65 km is getting divided by total time 7 by 2 hours 65 divided by 7 by 2 65 into 2 divided by 7 130 by 7 that is 18 4 by 7 kilometer per hour okay when total distance and total time 
are with us, the average speed is calculated. In second question, I had tried to explain with the help of speed and time. If a car moves with a speed of 40 meter per second, 40 meter per second for 20 seconds. The car is moving with a speed of 40 meter per second till 20 seconds and with a speed of 60 meter per second. Next speed is 60 meter per second for 10 seconds. Means the car is having two parts. First part 40 meter per second for 20 seconds and second part 60 meter per second for 10 seconds. Find the average speed. Now we have to calculate average speed. According to formula distance equal to speed into time. In previous lecture it was explained that the speed equal to distance by time. So now another form is derived from that formula. We are having distance equal to speed into time. Case 1. Distance equal to 40 into 20. 40 is speed and 20 is time. 40 meter per second into 20 second. That is 800 meter is distance covered by car in first case. Case 2. Distance equal to 60 into 10. 60 meter per second is speed and 10 seconds is time that is 600 meter. We must know that meter per second is multiplied by second to give only meter. Meter per second is side unit of speed, second is side unit of time. If we are multiplying these two, second gets cancelled out and meter remains as unit. Now, total distance equal to 800 plus 600 equal to 1400 meter. Total time is 20 seconds plus 10 seconds that is 30 seconds. So, average speed equal to total distance by total time. 1400 meter, 800 plus 600 that is 1400 meter divided by 30 seconds. 1400 by 30 that is 140 by 3. In mixed fraction we are having 46, 2 by 3 meter per second. Means this part is completed. The calculation of average speed in second numerical is also completed. Now, you need to practice both types of question by creating your own problem. Just put any digit instead of 20 and 1, 30 and 2, 15 and half. You need to work by creating questions. First of all, create your own question and solve it. In this question, it is also applicable. Okay? I think you will try. And if you will have any problem, then my number is also available on WhatsApp. You are free to contact me. After numerical, we are having one special type of motion. Actually, in previous class, we had studied about the motion based on the path. First was rectilinear, second one was curvilinear, and third one was third one was circular motion. Right? Means uh, we had studied about the movement of body on the straight path curved path and circular path. In this, no direction is changed, 
body is moving straight in this direction is getting changed but non uniform way in this direction is changing and changing at each and every step one more type of motion is periodic motion periodic motion means the motion which repeats itself the motion repeated in equal interval of time okay if any motion is repeating itself not following these three manners other than these three one more special type of motion is periodic motion in which motion is repeated for example pendulum you might have been available seen or not the pendulum clock in pendulum clock one bob is there this is called bob this ball metallic ball is known as bob and this one is string bob and string just take one stone in your hand tie a thread and hold like this you will move the stone will also move stone will move this position is called extreme position this is also called extreme position and this position is known as mean position to see the movement of a bob as periodic motion we need to push it pull it sorry we need to pull it when we will pull it from m to e1 extreme 1 it will move away from e1 towards m and continue its motion to e2 and again after making the same angle if this angle is x this is also x same angle it will turn and again this same pattern will be followed means in periodic motion the same motion is repeated continuously it is repeating itself you must have seen rocking chair in case of kids or old age persons we are having rocking chairs in our home on which we sit and move like this bouncing ball in it again we are having another example of bouncing ball ball is drop down it comes back goes down comes back this motion is known as periodic motion so dear students we had discussed motion and its types speed conversion of meter per second into kilometer per hour kilometer per hour into meter per second calculation of average speed in these two lectures now we will conclude with some questions which will be provided to you on snap homework application so please again i am instructing you to download snap homework app and get it activated for your assignment worksheet and notes thank you